comes down to this at the end of the day, folks. Either it's about nationalism or it's about federalism. Oklahoma lawmakers were urged on Wednesday to reject proposed nationwide academic standards that were adopted three years ago by the State Board of Education and set to take effect next year. Speakers at a rally that attracted about 150 people also warned about an overreaching federal government. They claim federal privacy laws were rewritten last year to let the government collect and then share student records and personal information. The Oklahoman's Michael McNutt reports Joel Robison, chief of staff for the state education department, said the only link the Common Core state standards has with the federal government is that federal election officials encouraged states to include implementation of the standards during the Race to the Top competition three years ago. Either we're going to say we want the government to control every aspect of our lives or it's about local control. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if they're Democrats or Republicans. This is an Oklahoma freedom and liberty issue. With the push toward the core curriculum standards, textbooks, and the ACT and SAT tests are adjusting to reflect those same standards. So what that means is, doesn't matter whether you homeschool your children or have your kids in private Christian school, if you plan on sending them to college, they must be and will be taught the core curriculum standards. There will need, be no safe haven for those of us parents that are aware of what's going on. Folks, if we don't stop this program now, it will become America's next Medicare and Social Security, and millions of children will be lost inside a one-size-fits-all system to create equal mediocrity among the new global citizenry. The Common Core State Standards for English Language, Arts, and Math will be implemented in 2014-2015. The standards will be integrated into districts under locally developed plans.